Zinchenko, you can see... Sport after sport is doing what it can. Tonight in the FA Cup, Manchester City made their Ukrainian star, Alexander Zinchenko, captain for the night. Everywhere you looked, small but highly visible and heartfelt gestures. As an athlete, Sebastian Coe defied calls for boycotts to race in the Olympics. Today, as president of World Athletics, he pushed through a ban of all athletes from Russia and Belarus. This, he told me, is different to anything that's gone before. I spoke to a very senior figure in the Ukrainian Track and Field Federation. He was in a bunker protecting his family. And I'm sorry, this, is, this goes way, way beyond any philosophical discussion about the independence of sport or the primacy of athletes. Ukrainian world number 15 tennis player Alina Svitolina will play her match against Russian Anastasia Potapova tonight after earlier threatening to pull out of the game. Organisers have assured her her opponent can now only compete as a neutral athlete. I have my country uh, on my shoulders, but also I have a uh, huge support on my shoulders. And uh, seeing how our uh, people are defending our country uh, gives me a lot of courage. Over the past few days, Russia has been effectively cut adrift from global sport. From football to Formula One, it has fast become a pariah. A sport tries to wield whatever influence it can on Moscow. Just days from the start of the Winter Paralympics, the IPC must decide tomorrow whether to follow suit and ban Russia and Belarusian athletes from Beijing. Many of them are already in China, but the pressure to take a stand grows with every hour. Steve Scott, News at 10.